Hi, my name is Kinsey, and I'm the technical content engineer at Fictive. Today, we're talking about injection molding. Specifically, what goes on after you give your part design to the injection molder? Injection molding can take longer to make parts than other manufacturing processes because of the time necessary to design and build the mold itself. To help you understand this process, I'm going to lay out all the steps on this Gantt chart to show you where the lead time comes from. This is the part that we'll be talking about today. It's a relatively simple injection molded part, so the mold can be made pretty quickly. The first step is finalizing the mold design. This depends on the part design, so it's best to submit this to your molder sooner rather than later. For instance, maybe when your design is about 80% complete. This allows you to get feedback on the moldability of your design, as well as aspects like draft, angle, and thickness, and so on, so that you can make necessary changes sooner rather than later. Once the DFM is approved, the mold design process can begin. The first step of this is to lay out the part within the mold. This can actually be done before the part design is fully finished because it only depends on the outer size and shape of the part. The layout provides critical information about the size of the mold so that the molder can start ordering and preparing the steel block. This steel block can be purchased ready to machine, which saves time, although it is more expensive. When the design is finalized, modeling the mold can begin. Modeling the mold in 3D and creating the 2D drawing takes about two days. Next, CNC programming can begin, which takes another two days. The next step of the process is procuring the necessary materials. While the mold is being designed, the molder is also ordering all the materials and parts necessary for the mold. This includes the core and cavity inserts, the copper electrodes for sinker EDM, the mold base, and any off-the-shelf components like nuts and bolts. The molder can save time by using an interchangeable mold base rather than sourcing a new one. The mold base is made of a softer steel than the hardened steel of the core and cavity. Sourcing all the materials takes about four days, but again, this can be done at the same time as designing the mold. This saves a lot of time rather than waiting for the mold design to be complete. The next step is to CNC machine the mold. Roughing and finishing passes can be done within the same machine. When CNC machines were more expensive and less precise, parts were often roughly machined in one machine, then moved to another CNC machine to do the finishing pass. Now that CNC machines are more precise and less expensive, all the machining can be done in one machine, which saves a lot of time. Other components like the lifters, sliders, inserts, and copper electrodes are also CNC machined. Finally, any necessary adjustments are made to the mold base. Overall, CNC machining the mold and other parts will take three days. Step four is electrical discharge machining, or EDM. First, wire EDM is used to make the final touches on small details in the mold. Then, sinker EDM is used to create fine details like text or complex internal features in the cavity, core, inserts, sliders, or lifters. The EDM process takes about three days to machine all the parts, but overlaps a little bit with the CNC machining timeline. Finally, it's time for the finishing touches. First, a fit check is in order. The two halves of the mold, core and cavity, are put into the press to see if they fit together. Any misalignments in your molds could lead to flash or other defects in your parts. If any misalignments are discovered, then precision grinding can be used to fix them. Next, the mold is polished. If a certain surface finish is required, the mold is polished until that point. Sometimes, a certain texture is required. In this case, the mold will still be polished first to remove any machining marks or other defects, but then the texture is applied. The polishing and texture process takes about two days. On the next day, it's time to make T0 parts. These are the first parts ever made and are used to make any final adjustments to the mold or process parameters. Any final adjustments will take another day. Then, on the final day, the T1 parts are made. These are the parts that will be shipped to you, the engineer. Voila! There you have it. These are all the steps that will go into the process of making the tooling for your plastic injection molded parts. Here is how the overall process is laid out. For the specific part, Fictive can make T1 parts in just 12 days. We also have this timeline in a handy Gantt chart that you can download by clicking the link in the description. This Gantt chart also includes a blank spreadsheet for you to use to plan out your own injection molding project. Thanks so much for watching! Don't forget to subscribe to Fictive for more engineering and manufacturing videos like this one.